So today I have a very serious video um, in the wake of OnlyFans releasing that they will be banning pornography from the website. I'm coming here to YouTube to let you all know that I'm quitting porn. So if you see me working at McDonald's next month, mind your business. Just kidding, it's back to back page for me. <laughs> I can't do a nine to five. Okay, all this talk about OnlyFans being banned like really had me seriously thinking about my career and what I can do next. I was thinking about my future job prospects. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go over that today. Uh, so I haven't had a job on paper in over five years. For those five years, the jobs that I had on paper never lasted more than six months. I never had <laughs> like steady employment. It's back to the block for me. <laughs> but I was just kind of thinking like, what is gonna be my next dream job? And I want to tell you guys what I'm gonna be doing without OnlyFans. I don't know, I'm gonna have to like melt down my Expos award and sell it. I'm gonna be starving is what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be poor as f Maybe being a taste tester at a pickle factory? That would be a f dream job. Wait, you guys. Oh my god, I could be a sperm donor. Is there money in that? I'd be so good at that job, I make a lot of milk. Mm. Would I have to disclose that I'm a drug addict whore when donating my sperm? Would I also have to disclose that I have crippling ADHD when donating my sperm? Actually, that won't work. Y'all don't want these jeans. The one job that I most definitely will not go back to is waiting tables. I used to cry on my car from lunch shifts. I like not even my full section would be set and I would be like in the weeds ripping my hair out like freaking out. Like my brain just doesn't work like that. I forget things like I forget everything. So <laughs> yeah, that never really works for me. Going back on rent net. I don't think I could do it again. Um, if you're looking for a stay at home himbo, send me applications in the comments. Um, I need somewhere to live now that OnlyFans is uh, banning horse like me. I'm getting evicted. So I need a place to live. If you want to donate to me, I think I'll leave my um, PayPal down in the description. Please, please, please give me money. Give me money. No, but in all seriousness, guys, let's talk about the OnlyFans ban and what this means. All the hoes are freaking the f out and we don't even know what the change is gonna be yet. OnlyFans released that they will be banning sexually explicit content from the website starting in October. But they did say they would allow nudity in pictures and videos. We don't know if they're banning it for all creators. What if they're only banning it for unverified accounts? There's so many variables and things going on, but I'm not worried because I'm launching my studio, renogold.com, tentatively September 23rd. And if my porn studio doesn't work out, I'm just gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna still shoot porn. I'm gonna do this shit for free. It's not about the money for me. It's the attention from me. So <laughs> I'm launching my new studio. What does that mean? Um, I will always be on OnlyFans. I will always abide to the community guidelines no matter how they change. I understand a lot of sex workers feel like they're getting kicked to the curb after OnlyFans like built this empire on them. But from a business standpoint, I do understand it now that I've launched a studio. Um, it is such a high risk business being in pornography. Um, like payment processors don't want to like take payments for you. It's, it's very hard um, and you have to jump through a lot of hoops. So I do understand them wanting to expand if they have to cut down on the pornographic material um, and not have like full on sex and explicit content on there. Um, obviously I'm sad. Uh, but from a business standpoint, I do get it and I will always support OnlyFans. I'll always be on OnlyFans and follow their guidelines. OnlyFans made me a multi-millionaire and I will always be grateful for that um, because if there wasn't that platform, I think it would have taken longer for me to make that much. So yeah, it was a good two years. It was a good run. Yeah, I things may change if 
they don't allow me to keep posting the type of content that I post right now on my OnlyFans, I'm gonna lower the price and offer something different. So it's all about adapting. I'm not worried, I'm gonna be fine. So you may be wondering what my new website is going to consist of, and it's much more user-friendly than OnlyFans. It has one-on-one -on -one messaging with me. It has photo galleries. I come out with two um, solo scenes of other guys a month. I come out with four solo scenes of myself a month, and then I come out with two scenes with me with another guy um, every single month. So yeah, it's gonna be offering a lot of content. I've never been this busy just filming other guys because I'm directing and I'm filming now and it's just a really awesome experience. So I'm excited about the future, but for the guys who haven't built their own studio or their own website, I wanna let you know that it, it's gonna be fine. There's always another platform. First it was Private Snap, then it became OnlyFans. Who knows what it'll be next, but there's always gonna be a way to make money and you're not just gonna be kicked to the curb. Your fans will follow you, hopefully. This is why it's important to invest wisely. I just closed on four more condos, so I own 11 condos now. They, I paid cash for all of them and they're generating a lot of income. It was a really good. And I'm hoping that Unogold.com is another good investment. So we'll see you guys. Um, I may be homeless. <laughs> Thanks for watching and listening to me rant.